she's pretty, isn't she? She is indeed, sure. She's not just pretty, she's also got that je ne sais quoi about her. Yeah, right, that thing, but don't forget that in two days you're getting married. Why? Have I said anything wrong? Well, you're being hilarious with your smoldering eyes. Smoldering eyes? What the hell are you talking about, Aldo? Am I being silly? Well, you are a bit, mate. Like when agreed on the accident report and you almost fucked me over. Well, you were not completely right, though. Are you all right? Yes. Luckily, I have managed to move my ferry ride. Otherwise, no holiday at all. The ferry too? Uh, Greece. I'm taking a ferry from Brindisi to Patras, and then some island hopping. Are you going to see your boyfriend? <laughs> Have I been a bit indelicate? <laughs> Have you just split up? <laughs> he has dumped you. <laughs> Clearly. Are you dumb? With your best friend. <laughs> Cut it off, Giovanni. Well, I was just trying to break the ice. I didn't mean to. Sorry. And you? Are you musicians? What? What's in that hold? A saxophone? Um, not really. There's stuff. It's a piece of artwork. A sculpture. Can I see it? The hell no. It's not that we can show it to just anybody. Why not? Come on, Giovanni. Show it to her. Show it to her. Ah, there you go. See? Look here. No. Well, yes. Uh, sadly, yes. That's not possible. Is it authentic? Hmm, a leg. This is a garpets. With all due respect, how did you know? It's a piece of junk. It's a garpets, all right. Actually, darling, since it costs a fortune, yes, it's I cute, know. but... I deal with artworks for a living. Well, yes, I'm a restorer. No way! Do you know that being a restorer has always been my life's dream? <laughs> <laughs> You're not able to connect the dots in a child's printable sheet. Come on, Giacomo. <laughs> I've just got it. Oh, we're dying of laughter here. And you? Huh? What do you do in life? Well, we, we deal with precision mechanics, advanced technologies that could be used to design particular and specific. I don't know. Hardware. Hardware. Hardware, that kind of things. I mean, we create support platforms that would then be used for to to design great situations. Dunno, like precision tools for a big future revolution, perhaps, in mechanics, too. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, we have a hardware store. Well... It's not like the hardware store is ours. We just work there as sales assistants. Like gophers, you know. Like... No need to be so pessimistic. A dove does not fly only and always in summer. What's that? Uh, one of those proverbs. Well then, since we're getting philosophical here, Plato says... Don't bother with that friggin' Plato. He's dumped you. He's nuts. Plato. Plato Symposium, the myth of the missing half. Do you know it? I was familiar with it once. Now, mm, I've read something about it. I get it. So, Plato say, man was once like this, just like this apple, perfect. He was enough for himself and he was blissful. There was no distinction between men and women. Just those perfectly happy individuals. It so happened that one day's use grew jealous of their perfection. Yeah. <laughs> and from that day onwards, mankind started looking for their other missing half. Because without it, it felt incomplete, unhappy. It doesn't matter how hard he tried. He couldn't manage to find its perfect half. <laughs> and it still hasn't managed yet. Not at all. It's technically impossible to find one's missing half and recognize it. A miracle would be needed.